I've always treated Bed Wars triples as a quite sweaty mode in Bed Wars. Yet, what happened literally roughly 10 minutes ago was something really, really stupid that I somehow accomplished. So, um, I wasn't recording the round, but thanks to Hypixel's awesome replay system, I'm just going to quickly show what happened in this round, and let's just start the round right away. So, essentially what happened here was, you probably read from the title, uh, I beat, I, 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 I won a triples game by myself, and I didn't even, and I wasn't even, like, camping, doing a hiding spot or anything, I was, like, literally playing normally, uh, and as you can see, I did spawn with a teammate, but my teammate did, didn't really do anything, he placed roughly, I would say, 16 blocks, and then he just went back to the base, and he kind of just went AFK and then logged off, nothing really too significant that he did, so let's just focus on uh, myself here, so... I look around and I see that blue team has a clay wood defense, red team has an unstone defense, but yellow team only has a wool defense, so I thought, okay, I can break that. So I instantly rush yellow team, and for some reason yellow team thinks it's a good idea to completely back up, so then I instantly get their red. Uh, I do think I died here though, because uh, I was getting 2v1, but as you can see my teammate has literally ran to mid ran back and there he goes he's just logged off after ender chesting all of his night items okay so i find yellow again i try to pick one of them off so i uh doesn't work because there happens to be two of them right there but here i did this i do this really really sick 3v1 i kill one of them this guy was extremely laggy, but I get him as well. And then I almost died here because that guy backstabbed me, but thankfully he was low from our previous encounters, so I managed to kill him pretty easily. And that is the first team down. Uh, Blue has been playing this a lot like ranked bed wars, just making this little platform. Nobody really engages them up here, though, so they kind of just waste their time. And right now, um, this is the beginning of a conflict between red and blue team. Uh, they're sort of just bridging to each other, and they basically fight for uh, a big chunk of the game. As you can see, there's only two minutes have passed. Uh, pretty much the entire rest of the round, they've been fighting. Well, I've just been sort of here getting stacked. Uh, I, I get an iron sword, and uh, even I sort of forgot this. Um, uh, like uh, a bit through the round but this whole time i never even lost my bed so i don't know how that managed considering we only had a wool defense and i was all i was at attacking the entire time i never played defensively so i don't know how nobody thought to get our bed so i see that they've built this thing so i try to tower up to them maybe potentially get their bed if they're distracted enough by red so i go down and I tried to start being their bed, but I didn't have any tools, so I was trying to push the clay. And blue was literally right there, and I kind of just, like, do a standoff here. I tried to fireball their bed defense, because clay and wood are both fireballable materials, but I kind of failed that. I had a knockback stick, so I got that guy, but, uh, like, other than that, I kind of just stood here for, like, I don't know, two minutes. Uh, not really being able to do much. I had roughly 20 blocks left. Um, the sword and a knockback stick and basically nothing else. So this guy is trying to spleef me by towering up a little bit. And I didn't really see any oth other option here but towering up. Um, I didn't really know what to do here, so I kind of just jumped. I, did, I, I, I didn't even know that he was going to fireball me, so like it might seem like I saw the fireball and I timed that junk perfectly to not get hit off by the fireball, but I didn't even know that he was going to fireball me. I just kind of jumped off and that was just a coincidence. Um, and then I realized that, okay, if blue and red are just going to continually fight, I can just get all the emeralds, and nobody's gotten emeralds the entire game, so... Uh, there's probably emerald genders are probably really stacked, and I was right. This gen right here had five emeralds, and this gen over here had four emeralds. So, if we go back here, okay, I'm just collecting the emeralds. 
and I heard wool pushy sounds as of now, so I thought that there was gonna be like a blue guy chasing after me, and then I just went in F5 mode just now, and then I saw that the blue guy was just expanding the platform that he probably was never gonna use. So then I come back to this base and buy diamond armor, and I bought an invis and a jump potion. And I kinda tried to use it there, and oh wow. What did I just, I just tried to punch that fireball, and that fireball went mad glitchy. But then I tried to do that, tried to fireball that guy off, didn't really work. Um, while I wasn't really focusing on the game, blue kind of just got re uh, red bed. And they pretty much annihilated red, they killed two of them. And the last one just stayed alive. I just spent all of my time and energy here rushing blue. I don't know why the red guy that was left didn't decide to go get my bed or anything because he could have easily gotten my bed when I was uh, rushing blue here but that red was this there I kind of just hated myself for wasting my fireball right then because I could have easily gotten them and it would have made the round a lot quicker at least like two minutes quicker I drink my potions and this guy didn't really notice me I think he might have saw the particles but now that I'm looking over the replay, I guess that he didn't. And I kind of just run around here, trying to get get them off my trail, and then I mine their bed defense from there. So, here, I don't even know. Where did I? Oh, oh yeah, I jumped up there, because a guy was running up there, and I killed him. And here, I got 2v1 again, so that wasn't really that uh, well. So... Here was just me trying to regroup, so I'm just going to skip 20 seconds, and as you can see, I'm back at mid again with a uh, decent gear again, trying to go finish those two off. Meanwhile, I'm not really sure what red, uh, where, uh, where red is as of now. I think red's, okay, yeah, red's just at their base trying to get stacked, but without going to mid, they can't really get more stacked than me. So... I try again, but again, that doesn't really work out, considering there's two of them <coughs> and one of me. And yet, throughout all of this, they still haven't gotten my bed yet. It wouldn't even have to been that hard, because red could have easily came to yellow through diamond gen, uh, sneak up to mid, maybe hit here while I made my way over to blue base, and then could have just snuck up over here and went and gotten my bed, and I would probably would have lost the game. But for some reason, red decided to stay and get stacked. Which me, uh, which gave me the chance. I'm pretty sure this was the time when I went over and I finished them off. So one of the blues was coming back. Did uh, uh, this was actually a really good opportunity for them because one of the blues was just chilling at their base, while the other one was sort of solo there. So this gave me a really good opportunity and I instantly stabbed one of them. Uh, and I raised that out here the other one and I had more health, so I knocked the other one off as well. He tries to fireball me. Doesn't really work out for him. And right now, there's only one guy left, and that's Red. Red's still alive. Only Red left. But Red still hasn't thought of getting my bed yet. And Red's just chilling at Yellow Base now, trying to get stuck at Yellow Base. Now, something that really confuses me now that I'm watching this replay is he's getting all of that resources, he still only has a stone sword. So I figure that Red's either going to be at Red Base or Yellow Base, considering my bed's not broken yet. He's probably not at our base, and I just see Red over there, so I tried to go fireball him. I messed up the first fireball because I was sort of panicking, and I was zooming, and zooming makes you shake. And I hit the second one, but I thought he was going to go, but he didn't. And I tried to hit the third one, but I because of this like literal chunk of green stuff over here, I couldn't really tell how close that was to the base. If that was slightly farther to the base, I probably would have gotten him, but I was way too close to the base. Didn't get him there. And this red guy had spent all his time getting a bow. Now, if the bow that he had gotten would have been a punch bow, I probably would be dead. But thankfully, he only got a power bow due to the fact that he never got access to emeralds. So I'm nearing, I'm, I've, I've arrived at red base now. Getting some final preparations ready to go stab red. Uh, I was kind of worried about what I could do in this situation because even red had a bow and he almost shot me but he missed and that sort of just alerted me that red has a bow so i got to the diamond gen and then we kind of just like i didn't really know what to do here because i knew he was going to try to do whatever he could to get me off the map 
he missed a bunch of bow shots at a bunch of fireballs here. So he kind of just went on for a bit until I'm pretty sure he ran out of fireballs or something. I don't know how he ran out of fireballs that quickly because he was really like, there's, 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 there's just a lot of things I didn't understand about this round, uh, but he kept on shooting at me, so I was worried whether I should go or not. Uh, and then I, like, I, I just thought, okay, it doesn't really matter if I get knocked off, considering I still have a bed. He never bothers to get my bed. So he tries to bow spam me a bit here. And, and I, I gap up, getting ready to go in. He runs inside for some reason. He probably could have defended that spot a little bit longer. But I go in, and I don't really know where he is. I thought he went invis. And then I heard the wool sound, and I realized that he's above me. And I get the win because he was off his guard and he actually block clutched but then he yeah that was kind of stupid of him and yeah that was um the win so yeah f guys officially triple bed wars least sweaty game mode ever